All right, welcome back to Baruto Anime Review Episode 248. Yep, 248. Okay, before I get started, yes, I'm wearing a new My Hero Academia t shirt. I actually got this last weekend, but the thing was, I actually had the wrong shirt size. And the weird thing about this shirt is, it, it takes up a small portion. Usually, when I get these My Hero Academia t shirts, I usually get the whole front. This one's like this just a small bit here. Like, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, I wear it very often. Okay, so the new episode of the anime for Bard North Next Generation is 248, Another Fierce Battle. And there is something in this episode that I disagree with. Yes, I'll get to it. So we begin pretty much like not long at the events of last week's episode. Excuse me, where Dinky and the Wami get kidnapped by the girl. And... Of course, when they bring up later on in the episode of what happened to these two guys that they captured, it's implied they were killed, but no, that's actually a lie. They actually were not killed. They were just taken captive. And we don't hear them know their fate until next week. Yep. So the two kids from last week's episode who basically were with Ninkiwami who were trying to gather food, I'm surprised these two got away, which is interesting to say the least. And they informed exactly what happened. And then, of course, the Fajero are basically all the way back. And apparently, it's been like a day since the last episode where they were informed they had to go back. So, they're like, oh, it's middle of the night. Like, it's going to rain. So, attack in the morning. So, it begins their attack. And it was a lot more bloodthirsty than the last one. <clears throat> where they're all basically all gun hole going in. And, of course, well... We also see before the battle that Mel Lee is talking to her very loudly. Himiko, this is so hilarious with her, where she just comforts Mel Lee. And, like, basically, he's somewhere close, and she, he thinks, he, of course, he thinks maybe towards close again. <laughs> nope. Let's get riled up, and, of course, you also see Sadara being teased by, by, by Bhutan. Yep, I thought it was quite hilarious. We also reveal, reveal like, because they're on the way there. We have Barto talking to Mitsuke about Sagutsuku. Yes. First time he's been sort of seeing the anime since the curse mark are way back in, like, episode, like, 107. Yeah, it's been, like, a year since he's been seeing the anime. And Barto, this, this, this guy's duty is very similar to this. And... Bar to confirm some Mitsuke, yeah, he's weak against water juice. He's weak against lightning jutsu. So at a particular moment, he would be weak against and lightning jutsu. Like, okay, interesting. So, when they eventually do make an attack, Bar to does finally attack with lightning jutsu and it works for a little bit. And then all of a sudden, it starts raining. And then, uh, for Jiro who attacks, forms a giant jellyfish. Yes, seriously, a giant jellyfish. And the whole point of the attack is to kill Baruto. Because he hurt Cyrene. Yep. And during the attack, while well, everybody's basically fending each other, and also the fact that they're waiting for a bit because they're basically they're starving, the village anyways, and how much for water. So, then we have, well, we have, we have Mel Lee working with Himiko again. Where he's like, I'll protect you. And then she gets whacked by a tentacle. A water tentacle. And that proves to be fatal for her. Because she later, well, I'll get to that. So. Then of course you have Baruto. Comes to the interesting idea to use her saying on. By on him. So he can basically get close to him. So everybody throw all their attacks at him. Including a bunch of fire jutsu. Attacks from Kawan King. Like Everybody. Then, of course, Barto does finally hit the, the Rasengan on him. Like, I think he is beaten, but not yet. He brings out a knife. He looks like he's about to stab Barto's skin. And then Buta comes right behind him with her sword and stabs him to the freaking chest. From the back. Yeah, and they're done. They go off. And then we see something that I was kind of irritated. I'm definitely irritated with. Because this, what happens next was completely unnecessary. I like what happened with Kagura a couple episodes back. Because, yes, they just killed off a character two episodes ago. 
And once again, they do it again. This time with Himiko. Gets hit with a Frankentangle so hard. it Well, she also was weak anyways thanks to her, her chakra string being broken by the guy. Excuse me, man. <laughs> and I'm thinking, watch this moment. I'm like, Sadara, you have medical jutsu. Use medical jutsu on her. Nope. Can't bother to do that. So allow a perfectly character, a good amount of character development, have her die. And this basically was never built up at all in the episode. At least in the case of Kagura, at least they built up to his death. This death was completely pointless. Why they kill this character off for? I mean, they bring her back, have her on for a good period of time. Was there any signs of her, like, where they could potentially kill her off? No. This death was completely random. Yes, in my opinion, this is a mistake on the part of the anime. Especially since it looks like though she and Metal Lee are getting very close with each other. But nope, we have to kill her off. If you think because of Advanced Metal Lee's character... What character? He barely gets involved anyways. I mean, this is a standard for fiction. Kill off a female character to advance a male character. Like, why the heck would this... Why would Para pull a women refrigerators trope? Yeah, kill off a good female character. Himiko is a great character. I love the fact we explore a little bit of her backstory. I kind of think she could get a little bit more for her. As a matter of fact, she's on more in this arc than she was in the original arc. The original arc, she was around for a few episodes. Like about four or five. Here, she's around for over 12 episodes. Like a long freaking time. By the way, this arc was going on since episode 232. Yes, seriously. I think we I think it was like 232, wasn't it? Uh, I think it was. Yeah, I mean they just brought her back in episode 233. Yeah, they brought her back in the series. First time in 200 episodes. They bring her back and she's here for 15 episodes and they kill her off. Yeah. In my opinion, like I said, like I just said, this is a mistake. Killing off Kagura, I have less a problem with because basically it was a good part of him protecting the village. Himiko had no reason to be killed off. I mean, why? This death felt completely unnecessary. Like, could you not have Sadara check her? Examine her. She knows many good jutsu. Yeah, one of the other guys who's there who knows many good jutsu, he may not be available. But last time I checked, Sadara does know too. Did the writer of this episode completely forget that? Because it seems like he did. He completely forgot Sadara knows Mega Jutsu. Could have saved her. No, we had to kill off a good character. The character may not be saved very much in the series, but she's a good character. I like her development over the course of these episodes. Like, Kagura. Easy to see who I got killed off. Himiko. No reason. I got the so they could have done more with this character. But no, kill off a good character. May not be a highly beloved character. May not be, I don't know if she's a fan favorite per se. I don't know. I've never spoken to anybody about this character. But from, from basically the way she's seen whenever she's standing, it looks like she's a pretty kind of shortish woman. I mean, Melody is slightly taller than she is. And Melody is always calling her Miss Himiko. Basically, I don't know if it's a sign of respect for her. Just him being polite. I mean, it's very little implied. Throughout all the episodes, these two have been together. That he has a thing for her. Or at least has a crush on her. And it's also implied she might know about it. But the thing is, she said nothing about it. Nothing. Could it have been possible that she had a thing for him too? It's possible he treated her with kindness. 
Yes. I mean, it's not like these two were together for like a day or two. These two have been around each other for several days. Like, I'd say about almost like a month, I'd say, of these characters being together. And I kind of felt this, though, that they shouldn't have more this character. And I'm glad Sadra finally showed off one of her jutsus. It took a long time. Yeah, using the fireball jutsu. Great. Like... When was the last time she used that in the series? Oh, I don't know, about 40 episodes ago. Seems like they waited a long freaking time to bring back her fireball jutsu just for a brief thing against the villain of this episode. I mean, Quantica at least a chance to use his ability. Fine. You want a one character who probably get a chance to watch anything episode when it comes to jutsu is Mitsuke. And that's shocking! Because Mitsuke is a good character. It seems like half the time. Whenever it's not canon stuff, they don't get much to do. This one, they gave him a little bit to do. At least they reveal, oh yeah, Shigoku has a weakness to lightning. Okay, good. And I'm glad the fact Mitsuke does know that. I mean, Sadara might not know that. That's perfectly fine, given the fact she's close to... Uh, I, don't, I, can't, I can't remember her name. Well, she won't feel a member of Team Hebe. Yeah, he, she's very close with her and her. And I'm like, and I kind of basically look at this like, okay. That's just my opinion, anyways, when it comes to these characters. That just basically. Oh, Kyrene, yes, Kyrene. Her, 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 basically. Her relationship with Kyrene is great, despite the fact these two have been together in one episode. Actually, one stork, anyways. Yeah. But, not much I'll say about this episode. It's definitely good, but did not like killing off a character in this episode. This death felt completely unnecessary. Okay, so, that's it. I have one more video to do, and that's basically, well, plan to do anyways. And that's going to be Kaguya Sama Levels War. Hopefully that one has a better ending than this does. I hope so. You may see also potentially more comic corners today. It's possible, okay? Next video. Bye.